The gentleman from Tennessee is recognized. Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman, and I thank the uh, gentleman from Colorado for yielding me this uh, time. And I rise in support uh, of this resolution to recognize the 75th anniversary of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, uh, a resolution that was uh, introduced by my good friend and neighbor from the first uh, congressional district of Tennessee, uh, Dr. Rowe. Uh, I represent about half of the uh, uh, Great Smoke, the uh, Tennessee part of the Great Smoky Mountains uh, National Park, and Dr. Rowe represents the uh, other half of the Tennessee portion, which is, of course, the bigger portion of the uh, National Park. The Great Smoky uh, Mountains uh, National Park is one of the uh, things of which uh, those of us from East Tennessee are most proud. It has often been said that our national parks are our nation's crown jewels. If that is true, then the, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park uh, must certainly be one of the uh, largest uh, jewels in that crown. The uh, Great Smoky Mountains National Park is by far our most visited national park with over 9 million visitors each year, approximately three times the number of visitors that uh, go to our, our uh, second largest and third largest uh, national parks. The Great Smoky Mountains National Park uh, with only 520,000 acres, uh, it seems huge to anyone who comes there. Of course, it's very small in comparison. We talk often here about the uh, Arctic National Wildlife Refuge, which is 19.8 million acres, which is 36 or 37 times the size of the Great Smokies. But it's certainly one of the most beautiful areas of this uh, uh, country. Uh, and more than 50 percent of the nation's population lies within a day's drive of the park. Within the park you can find more than 1,500 species of plants, over 200 species of birds, 66 species of, uh, of mammals, 50 species of fish, and so on. You will also find plenty of uh, recreation opportunities in the park, including 800 miles of hiking and horse trails and some of the most beautiful valleys and high peaks uh, anyone has ever seen, such as uh, Cage Cove and Mount LeConte. Although any time is a great time to visit the park, the views are truly spectacular in the spring with the blooming of the dogwoods and redbud trees, and in the fall when the leaves begin turning various shades of red and orange and yellow. My hometown of Knoxville is considered by many to be the gateway to the Smokies, and residents of Knoxville played a very important role in establishing the park. The original idea for a Smokies National Park came from a wealthy and influential Knoxville family, Mr. and Mrs. William P. Davis, who came back from a visit to the National Parks out west in the early 1920s with a simple question, why can't we have a National Park in the Smokies? Very quickly, other influential citizens of Knoxville, such as politicians, businessmen, naturalists, and others, joined in this movement. Eventually, the legislatures in both Tennessee and North Carolina realized that this was a worthy project. Both legislators, uh, legislatures appropriated $2 million in 1927. Although this was a large amount of money, it was not enough. Colonel David C. Chapman of Knoxville joined forces with National Park Service Director Arno Kammerer and began seeking additional sources of funding. Ultimately, they convinced John D. Rockefeller, Jr. to contribute to the cause. The Rockefeller family was well known for their philanthropy, philanthropy especially in regards to national parks. They made a gift of $5 million to the effort, but only on the stipulation that the funds would be matched. To get the full $5 million, the states and park service uh, would have to come up with $5 million on their own. Once the funding commitments were in place, by 1929 it took several more years to acquire the land and develop the facilities. And uh, uh, while this land has become almost priceless today, I don't think enough uh, uh, credit or recognition has been given to those families and people from whom land was taken to uh, create this park. Uh, during the Great Depression, the Civilian Conservation Corps, the Works Progress Administration, and other federal organizations made trails, fire watchtowers, and other infrastructure improvements to the park, and the park was officially opened on, in June of 1934, and uh, that uh, date is the date we are commemorating with this resolution. I would like once again to uh, thank and congratulate uh, Dr. Rowe for his very uh, thoughtful res uh, resolution. And uh, I urge all of my colleagues to uh, uh, support this resolution celebrating and recognizing the 75th anniversary of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I yield back.